Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawad Lake's walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how to install CentOS operating system. Um, just as a thought that we will talk about some Linux part also. So I am going to create a new virtual machine today uh, in which we are going to install um, CentOS operating system same way we can install Ubuntu or different operating systems so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply create a new virtual machine I'll go with custom I'll select default values over here and over here I'll select send Linux and in Linux itself I would select CentOS 764 bit and I'll go next over here I'll browse where I would like to put this VM I'll just create a new folder called sent OS 7 okay I'll just give this machine two processor two cores each um, RAM I would probably give it 4 GB say next I'll keep it as NAT and I'll keep the rest of the things as default I'll keep for now this um, 50 GB alright and I'll say next over here and finish before I finish what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount an image of CentOS 7 to this virtual machine so I'll just do that Right, and I have CentOS. This is minimal version. Um, we can install full version also. Let me check if it is minimal or full. Ah, so this is minimal version. Let me check if I have full version available over here. Mm. I don't have full version right now, so. Uh, what I can do is maybe I can install a minimal version for now and if required we can go for um, any libraries later on in the future if we would like to add certain things into it so we'll go in, we are going to install minimal version now So now my machine is ready to power on and I'm just powering it on now. So the difference between minimal version and full version is full version comes with desktop edition where it has its own windows kind of a desktop but minimal version will have only minimal installation. If you need to um, install anything you would need to install updates you need to install separate packages so this is just kind of a lighter version of the CentOS like you have in server edition of um, Windows you have core of uh, Windows operating system same way this has uh, minimal version so we'll press enter over here Yeah.
so I'm going to select my language as English United States I'll continue this now over here I can select the time installation source so for time for example I would like to keep any particular time I would do that over here um, keyboard etc installation source um, the main thing what I would uh, uh, would require to do is the partition which I would like to select to install this operating system and say next over here and the next thing I would like to do is network host settings so I would need to configure that uh, it's always prefer to keep your name over here so I'm going to name it as maybe KVM for me no domain nothing but I can say KVM as my machine name over here um, I'll apply this I'll go to configure and over here rather than automate uh, going into DHCP I'm going to give the manual IP address for example 192.168.10.141 netmask is slash 24 gateway is 192.168.10.2 and I'll say save one more thing I would like to check where is automatically connect to this network when it is available <coughs> I'll click on save apply and then done now if I want to put any security policies or anything I would do it from here let's not touch that part and I'll say begin installation now I can set a root, a pass root password I'll just keep my password over here I'm just keeping it a normal because it's my test environment so it doesn't matter if I keep it strong or um, normal password but if you would like to keep it strong password you need to have one caps letter one correct uh, small letter at least some digits and with some special characters for example I'll say complex password P at SSW0 RD why it is not keeping it as strong now because this is a commonly used password if I change something in that you see it became strong so the idea is to have one lower one uppercase letter at least special character with digits say okay no user will be created if I want to create any specific user uh, I would need to define over here otherwise I'll keep it as default default means I'll have only root user for this machine If you might have noticed after the installation is complete and post installation tasks are done uh, this got grayed out now I can just complete installation and reboot and I'll keep it as default what is going on over here so that I can boot into my virtual machine which I created so I'll say root and my password and see now I am in minimal 
uh, version of CentOS. Just to let you know, the minimal version of CentOS does not have even if config command, which is used for uh, in replacement to IP config as Windows. If config of uh, Linux means it is IP config of uh, Windows. So if you need to do uh, have these commands, you would need to install a separate package for that. So we are not going to talk about those packages today. Maybe we'll talk about them later on in different video tutorial where we will see how I can install different kind of packages on top of this minimal version. Thank you so much once again for watching this walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.